Um, number six, um, we have a graph and we want to find several things. We want to find intercepts, the domain and range, intervals on which the function is uh, increasing, decreasing, or constant, and then we want to determine whether it is even, odd, or neither. Okay, so intercepts, we can see where this crosses or touches the x-axis or the y-axis, okay? So on this number six, we have intercepts, looks like at negative one, zero is an x-intercept, a y-intercept at zero, one, and then another x-intercept at two, zero. Okay, so we have those intercepts. It says to type them as ordered pairs, so we're going to type them just as we have listed them. Negative one, zero, and then zero, one, and then two, zero. All right, now we want the domain. So this graph goes in the left direction as far as this looks like negative three and that point is included and it goes all the way to the right and stops at positive three so we can see our domain stretches from negative three to positive three okay including those endpoints so we're going to have square bracket, negative 3, up to positive 3, close square bracket. All right, the range, we're going to go from bottom to top. The lowest we go on our graph is at the x-axis. That's a y value of 0, and it comes up to a height of 1. So only between 0 and 1 is our range. Our range is listed from zero, including zero, up to one. Okay, so all the numbers from zero to one. Now we wanna know um, intervals on which the graph is increasing first, okay? <clears throat> so we look at going up from left to right. So this is decreasing and then this is an x value of negative 1. Negative 1 it starts increasing until we get to an x value of 0. Okay, so increasing, this abbreviate INC, this graph is increasing from negative 1 until we get to the x value of 0. So don't, don't focus on the y value. Just think about going left to right, where it starts, where it stops. Okay, so then it starts decreasing, and then at the number two, it starts increasing again until we get to the x value of three. So these will be our increasing intervals. We have two of them. separate each of them with a comma two to three all right now next we want to know um, intervals on where the function is decreasing so going in the downward direction from left to right so starting at an x value of negative 3 this graph is decreasing until we get to an x value of negative 1 so from negative 3 to negative 1 we're decreasing so just abbreviate DEC and we're decreasing from negative 3 to negative 1 and then there is another portion of this graph that's decreasing starting at x value of 0 until we get to an x value of 2. So decreasing from 0 to 2 as we read left to right. Mm. 
negative 3 to negative 1 and then 0 to 2. Now we want to know is it constant, where the graph is constant. So constant would just be horizontal, straight across. And there's no part of this graph that is just flat across. Um, I think we might get some images of increasing, decreasing, and constant. Here we got average rate of change. Nope, I don't see it. So maybe at the very beginning. Yep. Increasing, decreasing, constant. So kind of what we saw beforehand. So we don't have a part that's flat across. So <clears throat> the graph is not constant on any interval. We would pick option B. And then last, we want to know, is the function even, odd, or neither? So this deals with symmetry. So it's been a little bit, but let's talk about it visually. So a function is even if it has y-axis symmetry, which means whatever part I have on this side if it's a mirror image, I have that same image over here. Okay, this is the y-axis. Okay, <clears throat> and then it is odd if whatever image I have, let's just say here, if you flip it across the y and then flip it across the x, you have that same image there. Okay, so this flips right across that origin. Okay. Um, or you could flip it across the X first and then flip that across the Y. So I'd have this and this match up. That would be origin symmetry. Origin. Um, this graphic has neither even or odd symmetry. Um, so it is neither even or odd. Now be mindful that you could have a graph that could be both even and odd. Even and odd do not refer to uh, numbers as we are used to dealing with even and odd, but it refers to symmetry. So it could have y-axis and it could have origin symmetry, which would make it even and odd. But in this case, it is neither. It looks like this graph just took this image and copied and pasted it right here. So if you were to flip it, it would not line up exactly. Okay, it would be close, but not exact. So it's neither even or odd. Uh, 